greetings to you all in the name of our Lord and Savior. It is such a blessing to have you join us for this midweek message. The Eleli Otifata Lofatu Ileswafa Manumalo Olotatuali Eo Yesu Kiriso. As I was praying and reading a couple of verses in the Bible, there were a lot of amazing verses I could have picked. And there was this one verse that just kept blinking at me and it was clear to me that this was my message for today. Psalms 46 verse 10. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. Salamo e fas fulu maleono fai opise fulu. Ina so ia ma ia o to i loa o a o la vale tua. Evi ia a o ino ese. Evi ia a o ile na lolangi. One of many popular verse in the Bible. A verse that just jumps out when you're reading this chapter. A verse that answers so many questions. A verse that is so powerful, yet easily forgotten. A verse that just tells us to be still, meaning to stop, let go, to release, to put down our weapons and to stop fighting. And then there's the word pride. Pride is probably one thing that stops us from being still. And when pride takes over, we don't have space to be still for the Lord. One of the definitions, biblical definitions, I read mention pride is a desire to take the place of God pride is a desire to take the place of God this is a verse that is telling us to surrender Letting go of things that protected you and I. Letting go of weapons that protected us through shame, fear and pain. Can you and I trust God enough to let go and let God? There are so many things going on in the world right now. And to add to that, we'll go through so many struggles on our own and yes we are fighting them on our own exodus chapter 14 verse 14 the lord will fight for you you need only to be still ole a tsau ye ova o otso ai falo longo otso let me take you back to 13 years ago I had lost a brother he was 37 and he was murdered and stabbed nine times he had a beautiful wife four handsome boys and a gorgeous beautiful daughter that he never got to meet as I was told about what happened I lost it I was angry frustrated hurt and I was mad at the world and I remember during his service and I hear these words could you please stand for the accused for the accused in jail and to pray for him and I thought to myself, what? I, I couldn't believe what I was hearing. I saw my parents stand up, followed by the congregation, 
some of my family members and I was so angry that this person did not deserve anyone's prayer that I was not going to stand up and pray for this person all I wanted to do was revenge as time went by I started my own investigation on what, when, how, why. So many questions going on. There were different stories on social media and I was searching for answers. And I realized the deeper I started searching for answers, the more pain, it was painful. It was hurting me even more. And I thought to myself, what am I doing? And what am I doing this for? It is not going to bring him back. Every question I had, every pain I had felt, and yet the answers were right here, right in this book, right in this book. The answers to every question I had about my brother's murder was right here. And it reminded me to be still that I am God. It even told me on what to do. I encourage you and I, the next time we're writing our schedule, our timetable, when you're writing up the agenda on your calendar and your diary to put down, be still. Let's remind ourselves that we need to stop. We need to stop fighting. The battles that are not for us. We need to stop fighting these battles. We need to let go and let God. To God be the glory forever and ever. Amen.